Okay, friends, another easy, easy recipe for you today. We're going to make a cranberry sauce. Very simple to make. You're not going to believe it. I have been making this recipe for, I don't know how many years, but something like 40, 50 years. <laughs> Long time. And it's so simple. It works every time. And you're going to love it. I've made it for thousands of people, and they love it. It's so simple, okay? First, we get two bags of cranberry. They're usually about 12 ounces each. So you're looking at about 24, 28 ounces of cranberries. Okay, we're going to put the cranberries in there, and then we're going to put about two cups of orange juice, fresh orange juice, eh? do me a favor, get fresh orange juice, eh? right? And then we're going to put sugar. <laughs> Pay attention, now some of you are going to say, oh my God, look at all that sugar. That's because you never made cranberry sauce. If you make cranberry sauce, you realize that that's nothing, it's a cup and a half of sugar. For 24 ounces of cranberry, there's nothing, you can add more. Now, where I'm going to... Uh, surprise you is, I'm going to put a little hot sauce in there. You're going to say, oh my God, hot sauce in a cranberry. Look, I'm not making cranberry jam, okay? You want cranberry jam, get smuckers. Smuckers or whatever they call it. They make beautiful uh, cranberry jam. That's not what I'm making. I'm making cranberry sauce. I don't like it to be like jammy, sweetie. So uh, uh, the sugar is just enough to upset the bitterness of the cranberry. I promise you, this is not going to be very sweet. It's going to be a little sweet. It's just going to be enough to offset the acidity of the cranberries, right? Put in a hot sauce. You don't have to put hot sauce. If you don't like it, you don't have to put hot sauce. It's okay. I like it put a little shiracha in there. Matter of fact, guess what? I'm putting a little black pepper in there. Uh-huh. Yeah. Yeah. And, and, and a little salt. Uh-huh. Yes, sir. A little salt. All right? So we got salt, Mediterranean sea salt. Then we're going to put a little Grand Marnier. Oh, yeah. You don't have to put a Grand Marnier, okay? You know, I get a lot of message from people who said, well, I, I, I can't have booze, what can I put in? Just put a little more orange juice in there, okay? Grand Marnier is good for you, though, <laughs> especially if you drink it. Let's do a little Grand Marnier. Measure carefully, okay? Don't put too much, just a little bit. That's all we need. You can put a little more at the end also, okay? Now, so we're going to put an orange zest. Microplane grater. Everybody got one of those. And unless you've seen my video before, you're probably using it like all the ding-dongs are using it online, where they take the tool and they take the orange and you put it on top. That is not how you do it. Okay, you see all them chefs doing it. One ding-dong after another. Okay, that is not how you do it. Because if you do it this way, look, I'll show you. Okay, you go like this. Okay, great. You did a good job, right? You got, you got some of the thing. And now what do you do now? Well, you got to go on the right of it or on the left of it because you can't go at the same place. Because if you go to the same place, you're going to get the pith. And if you get the pith, that's bitter. So what do you do? You don't do it that way. You take the tool, you put it on top of the orange, not the orange on top of the tool. Otherwise, you can't see where you're going. But if you look, 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 pay attention. All right, look, look. You see what I'm doing? I put the tool on top of the orange or the lemon or the lime so I don't go to the same place twice. Okay? And next time, get an orange, then it's orange, not a green one like I got. Okay, but you got the idea, right? Look, look, and see the tool is designed to do this. Exactly. See, so now, next time you see a ding-dong on, uh, on the television or on YouTube, um, doing it this way, you go to the Playboy channel, okay? <laughs> or wherever you want to go. But you're going to learn something different. See, look, look how cool that is. You can do an orange, a lime, or a lemon in like literally seconds. And you never go to the same place twice. And you see right there, let me tell you. You make a lemon sauce, you put a lemon zest, a, a lime. You get more flavor out of the zest than you'll get out of 17 lemon. You take it, you put it right in there, just like this. And this orange flavor is going to give you so much flavor. So here's what we're going to do, friends. We're going to cook this. I'm going to mix it up, right? We're going to cook it. This is going to take about 45 minutes, half hour, 45 minutes. Then what we're going to do, we're going to uh, check it to make sure that the cranberry, the cranberry, well, first you got to turn it on. It works better. <laughs> uh, then the cranberry will pop. The cranberries are going to release the pectin. And the pectin is what's going to make the cranberry sauce going to give you the nice texture to it. So there's nothing we need to do now. We're going to cook it. Most cranberries are going to pop them there on. If they don't, we're going to pop them. I'm going to show you how to do it. And that's all there is to it. It's really, really simple. Okay, we're going to let it cook. Okay, well, you know, that thing cooked about an hour, an hour and a half. And you notice most of the cranberries have popped on their own. Uh, but I'm using one of them potato smasher. And I'm going to be smashing the cranberries and I've not popped on their own 
and you check it out. You don't want to use a machine with that, okay? Don't be out there with your motion blender, okay? You'll destroy the whole texture of that sauce, all right? And then at this point, friends, you just want to make sure there's not too many cranberry, and, and it's going to thicken a lot when it uh, when it cools, okay? And, and, and you notice it's already thickened quite a bit, right? And uh, what you want to do now, you want to test this. Does it have enough sugar? Uh, you know, that's basically what you're looking for is because I put very little sugar to start with. Mmm. Woo! And it's a little acid, but I like it that way. That's really up to you if you like an acid or if you like a very sweet. Like I said earlier, I'm not making a cranberry jam, okay? Uh, buy a cranberry jam if that's what you want to do. I'm making a cranberry sauce, which means I like it to be slice slightly tart i think it's actually delicious the the tartness and crumb from a cranberry is unique it really is it's, it's fabulous so you can put a little grandma in here in there <laughs> you know look you remember you just want to make them happy not drunk okay so so don't be putting too much of it in there the grandma in here is sweet and the grandma in here could also upset some of that uh, uh some of that bitterness uh, it then come from the cranberries, but it's really up to you. Put whatever you want to put in here. It's your cranberry sauce. And let me tell you something. Look, I want to show you the, the actual texture of it. You see, it's looking really, really pretty. So you see the beautiful texture? Look how gorgeous that texture is, okay? And it's going to get a little thicker, friends. Not that you want it that much thicker, really, but it's going to get a little thicker when it cools, okay? God forbid it's too thick for you. Put a little more Grand Marnier in there. Chambord would be great. Oh, put your orange juice in there. And you see right there, look at that. Look how beautiful that is. Let me tell you something. This is fabulous. With turkey, it's fabulous. The next morning with the turkey sandwich, just as good. Make that sauce in advance. You can also keep it in the refrigerator for a few days, or you can freeze it for 17 years. Don't forget to ring the bell so you get a notification every Thursday when I do a new video. Give me a thumbs up if you like the video, and by all means, subscribe. We need the subscription. All right, thanks for watching the video.